Welcome to PowerPoint 2010 Setup Show. I'm Trainer Laurie. What is Setup Show? When you're presenting your PowerPoint show, either at a kiosk where somebody else is watching it and you have no control over it, with a projector where you do have control over it, or if you're sending it via email and you want them to see it the way you want them to see it. It's one tool, but it has so many options. We're going to go over every single option. We'll find it on the slideshow tab of the ribbon under Setup Slideshow, and you can see the dialog box. We're going to go through each of these options. The first one is Show Type. If you're presented by a speaker, full screen versus window. This is what it looks like. Full screen shows nothing but the screen itself. As you can see, all the tools are gone. In this case, you can see that there are black ribbons on either side. These black ribbons uh, simply mean my monitor is bigger than the uh, screen projection. And if you look on the right, uh, the window view is also known as reading view. So if you're going to look down at the views at the bottom, uh, this is also called slideshow view. Uh, even though it's called full screen here. And then window is reading view. And this allows us to see still our, our uh, tools, our icons at the bottom, and our close buttons. Sometimes when you're sending this to somebody else, they don't want their whole computer taken over, which Slideshow View does. Uh, this allows them to still have access to their other tools, and uh, they might not be as nervous about opening it. At the end of the slideshow, you'll get this black screen and end of slideshow, click to exit. Uh, so either of those other two options uh, creates this. However, if you choose Browsed at Kiosk, uh, it will make it full screen. However, there's uh, some other differences because people, uh, if, if for example, if they're, you have a laptop at a trade show and uh, people are standing there looking while they're waiting to talk to you, um, they're, they're watching this presentation, you don't want them to be able to make any changes. So they can't. It restarts when it's finished, so it creates a loop. Uh, it restarts if it's been on idle. In other words, if uh, somebody started moving through it and then they walk away, it'll uh, resume again. And then you can, uh, you have to have automatic timings, navigation hyperlinks, or action buttons uh, for it to continue, just like a, on a regular loop. And we'll talk more about that when we get to loops. So don't use just the mouse click only, because it must be uh, automatic. It cannot be manual. The next thing we'll look at is Show Options, and this is our loop. This is what I was just talking about. If you want to create a loop, I have a loop plane. It's uh, welcoming people before they come. So I choose Loop, but it only works if you, under the Transition tab, have used a timing, an automatic timing. If you only have mouse click, it won't work, just like with our, our other option. So um, this way it just continues, and it happens automatically, and it restarts when finished. If you don't add automatic timings to every slide, for example, there have been times when uh, when I was presenting every single day that I would make uh, changes to it in the morning, and I would forget to put it on automatic. And I would walk back into the room after signing up people outside to attend my seminar. I'd walk in, and it's still stuck on the same slide. Whoops, <laughs> I forgot to add the timings. So make sure that you do that. If you record your slideshow under slideshow, record slideshow, and then you'll have this horn on the screen. And you can choose to whether play it with or without the narration. For example, if I've recorded it and I want to post it on YouTube, I want to keep the narration. But if I'm going to then present the, uh, the, the same show live, I would want to turn off the narration. This is also uh, another place where you can do it under slideshow, play narration. So you can turn it off in either place. The other thing you might want to do is turn off animation, especially if you didn't create the slideshow, if somebody else did it for you, and they kind of get carried away with the animation. Instead of taking the time to go in there and turn off all the animation, you can just make sure you show it without. The Next on our setup slideshow option is pen color and laser pointer color. When you choose that, uh, you can create a pen uh, whenever you're in slideshow view by using Control plus P or right click. And when you right click, you have the option of making a, a pen. I like Control P because it's really fast and I don't have to do anything. You can see it, it's uh, not easy to write with a mouse, but um, you can do that and you can change the color of it. So you, you can change the default color. You can change it anytime simply by right mouse clicking, but this changes the default. The other thing was the laser pointer, and a lot of people aren't familiar with the laser pointer, but this is the laser pointer. See the blue? You simply hold down the control key while you're um, presenting and use your mouse, click and drag your mouse at the same time, and it creates this laser pointer. Now that one was one I just created using PowerPoint. This is the actual one. You can see it's much smaller. 
The next is Show Slides. Now, by default, you'll want to see all your slides, but sometimes there's just a few. For example, I only want to show the beginning or a custom show. For example, uh, a custom show, I was training doctors, and they had um, various audiences for the same slides. They had a lot of slides, but they didn't want to show their patients the same slides that they would show doctors when they were teaching them this new procedure. And so they would uh, take out some of the more gory slides. And so you uh, create that under Slideshow custom slideshow and you give it a name and then you choose which slides you want to go into your custom slideshow. For example, uh, a quick version of it. So depending if you have a 15 minute presentation or an hour presentation, you might just take some of the slides. Instead of having two or three different slideshows, you, uh, you keep it in one and just have a custom show within it. it saves on memory. The next one is advanced slides manually by default. However, if you have custom timings, for example, if you want to have it loop continuously, you would have to use those times. Remember, the timings is under transitions, and you want to make sure that there is timings for every slide. If you're not sure, hit apply to all. Um, now, I generally change the timing. If there's a lot of text on it, I give it more time, and if there's just a lot of pictures, then I give it a little less time. And then finally, multiple monitors. This is really important, and this is something I learned late in my career using PowerPoint. Um, but I saw uh, somebody use it, and I thought, wow, how did they do that? If you have a screen or uh, a, a projector, you'll want to dis uh, choose how to display it. Now, it's really nice if you have Windows 7 that uh, you can actually just click the Windows button with P and it automatically opens, or you can go in here and do it. You have two options, duplicate, that means to show exactly what you're seeing. Uh, they will see exactly what you're seeing on the, s on the screen. You might want to use the presenter view. So instead of seeing exactly the same thing, you get a more robust version. So when you choose that presenter view option, and by the way, it's also on Slideshow. A lot of these are available on the Slideshow tab. This is what you get. This is what the they will see, but this is what you will see. Do you see there's so much more information? For example, if I were to click here, I would get just like if I would hit the right mouse click but they don't see it. They don't see all your options there. Uh, for example, if you want to end the show or go to a specific slide if you know the number. Also, if you click the pen, you have more pen options. And by the way, if Control P is pen, Control A is arrow. So if you want to get your arrow back, that's a way to do it. Uh, also, you uh, have your notes over on the side. And uh, you can zoom the notes so you don't have to uh, worry about them being so small. This is what the default would be, but I could zoom them to make them bigger. You can see what the timing is, so you can see how much time you have. Uh, and you can see your slides. For example, I'm on this slide right now, but I, uh, I think I want to jump to another slide. You have a scroll bar here, and so you can move to future slides and see what they are. That's all this time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please click like, and thank you.